students a very warm welcome to all my lovely atoms this session is going to be super important and super fun because the name of the session itself says super fun ways to memorize periodic table for boards because you know that when i talk about chapter number 5 periodic classification of elements sometimes the questions are like you need to put all the elements in increasing order of their atomic size metallic character decreasing order of these elements atomic size electronegativity and non metallic character whatsoever now the problem is sometimes you get confused with all the elements given and their position in the periodic table so this session is going to be super awesome because i'll tell you how to remember all the possible and important groups those vertical columns and probably the first 30 elements how you can remember in a better way so are you all with me with me means you like the session you'll definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget to share it among your friends so that they can also revise and can figure it out that how lovely job all the teachers are trying to do here and language won't be a barrier as well so that's how we just started this channel night and english channel all right so here is it everyone and if you're interested this is the best time to take vedantu pro classes because all the revision and crash courses are going on so if you see it right away some of the courses are going to happen the next week one on 2nd jan and some is already started so you can have that and can revise all the chapters all the entire syllabus with vedantu and can make sure that you're learning everything and uh, can boost your score don't forget to apply age pro code because that will give you 20 to 31% discount on mrp that's the teacher code basically all right so let's start it how to memorize periodic table in a super fun way possible right away and let's try to set some of the target of the session as it's so important can we get not much 300 likes till we are like done with the session that's like a small target do let me know we can achieve it we can we will all right everyone let me tell you all the possible small small details of the periodic table for the first place so that it makes sense to you what is period what is group what do we basically have to revise and remember okay so this is my periodic table having 118 elements to be very honest it can be revised because a scientist told me that not told me told everyone that there's a possibility to have 127 elements so let's see that those will be man made so we'll get it so students the very important part in periodic table which we should know that whole periodic table is divided it into four blocks these are 118 elements written but that's divided into four blocks this first and second group belongs to s block which is very important for your 10th boards 13 to 18th very important for boards called as p block this 3 to 12 not so important but for higher classes d block and this pink that beautiful uh, block at the bottom of your periodic table that's f block okay what basically these block are when you move to 11th class second chapter atomic structure where you get to know that all of the elements when we say that electrons are going in the particular orbit you will talk about the concept of orbital that how electrons whenever rotate in an orbit that rotates in a fixed position in a fixed orientation and give rise to four type of orbitals s is more of like a spherical one the way they it rotates on its own axis p is like a dumbbell one like this d is like attaching to dumbbell uh, and variety of d orbitals are there f is like a diffuse shape we try not to draw on the paper it's quite complex so these are the four possible blocks of the periodic table and when i say an element belong to s block i totally mean the last electron is there in the s block which is spherical s orbital which is spherical in shape and its probability of having the electron in that area only in s orbital so as p so as d and so as f so question is very important that can come into exam that you will be given an element how to decide its period number and group number what basically is group number and period number you can remember in this way i told you very uh, nicely 
you know our harsh priyam sir and you know he's very generous so it's like the way you can remember this line harsh priyam very generous and how to conclude that in chemistry horizontal is my period horizontal is my period hp vg vertical is my group okay vertical is my group so these are group 18 groups these are horizontal periods that is seven right so in our periodic table we have seven horizontal row and we have one to 18 vertical group groups but the topic of discussion is first to two groups and this 13 to 18 and the elements that's important for your class is still calcium this fourth period one two three four fourth period but i'll try to give the thing like how to remember it that to first 20 elements because i think this series also you should know till zinc having 30 atomic number and i think you're super ready how to memorize it how to remember all possible and important groups and periods how to remember first 30 elements how to remember possible blocks so i'll help you students let's see that right away this is like not difficult at all i'll go with the group one all the members are written of group one as it's english channel i'll tell you how to remember it in english so it's pretty important so group one is which is very important starts with hydrogen but hydrogen is on the sad part why am i here hydrogen is something that is there in the periodic table but more of like should not belong to group one because it is kind of following dual kind of a property that's different that's versatile not even with group one but with group 17 also should be placed differently so that's how there is a gap with all the other elements of group one called as alkali metals because whenever they put into water they give us alkaline solution yeah so how to remember it this is hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium you can remember as in this this funny way highly naive kids rub cats fur highly and whenever i am writing with this uh, uh, red color that means these are the symbols given in the particular line that we are going to remember all right so highly you can say nasty or naive whatever you like kids rub cats fur is it like okay okay you can revise it with me you can say it with me the next time so that it will store to your mind because learning practice is quite important and help you let's go to group number two group number two is called as alkaline earth metal second uh, group is second vertical column alkaline earth metal because they are alkaline whenever we put it in water they give alkaline solution not like the group one but yeah lesser than that but yeah that's still basic that's alkaline earth metal because generally we get most of it from the earth crust so group two alkaline earth metal let me tell you the member beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium radium there's one very funny in hindi also but we'll do it in english there is a different different way i'll tell you uh, the one that's very interesting for potter heads harry potter fans and there's one very simple one also it's like Bina Mega came straight back running. Bina, B E, Mega, M G, C A, calcium came straight back running. All of the red words are definitely using that means from the symbol. Or you can remember in this way also. I have one funny one also. Bearded muggles, you like that? Bearded muggles came straight back rapidly all right okay you can remember in that way bearded muggles came straight back rapidly does it make sense yes be bearded mg muggles came ca straight sr back ba barium rapidly radium so this is the way you can remember group 2 because sometimes they can ask about the atomic size, metallic, non-metallic character. So you should know it. Let's go to the 13th family because 13 to 18 P block family, that's quite important as well. So the 13th family starts from boron. We have boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, thallium. 
you don't need to remember this one because the last one is generally from the seventh period which is having radioactive elements and we can uh, avoid that to remember okay so how to remember it there is one more way in uh, english that's written here bal ganesh in thailand that's quite interesting bal ganesh in thailand and now i tell you in one funny way as well you know there's a very famous brand we call it baguette so just say that b a g i t baguette boron a comes from the aluminium gallium g indium i thallium t baguette or bal ganesh in thailand is also cool pretty cool let's go for group 14 carbon family because we start this a uh, series with the carbon we start this vertical column with the carbon and the members are carbon silicon germanium sn uh, that is tin pb plumbum that's your lead okay carbon silicon germanium this is your tin and this is your lead and how to remember that there is one way chemistry sir gives serious problems is it so though it's ma'am do i give you guys serious problems no na i always try to help you chemistry sir gives serious problems c s i g germanium and serious s you can take that from here problem p b let you can remember in this way also like cute sister cute sister gets small problems okay so anyway whatever you like you can follow that so 14th group you can remember with chemistry sir gives serious problems or cute sister gets small problems the way you want to you can revise that let's go with the nitrogen family that's group 15 and the members are nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth antimony <laughs> yeah sb stibium that's the latin name and the general name is antimony for it how to remember it there's one way that's written here newspaper used as super books and that's so true now we have reduced the use of newspaper like that much but yeah that's true newspaper used as super books okay and you can remember in this way also new police officer assigns sub inspector bikram singh new police assigns you can do in that way also new police assigns sub inspector bikram singh yeah so this will help also you can write it down you can download the file too that will be super helpful group 16 is the oxygen family we start with oxygen also called as chalcogens why do we call it chalcogens chalco specifically means or gen means generator or generator or former oxygen sulfur are the very important member from which we get so many ore of metal metal oxide metal sulfide yeah so how to remember that only small size telephones powerful are powerful you can do that okay that's oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium okay and that's only small size telephones are powerful and i have one more you can follow that also o Sima sent the post. Okay. Oh, Sima sent the post. Okay. Oh, oxygen Sima as sulfur and selenium here. S E the T E tellurium post P O polonium. Makes sense. So you can follow whatever you find easy. Group seventeen is also very interesting. We have our halogen family. Hello means salt. Gen means generator. Means former salt former. So this is a family that combined with the metal to give you salt. Sodium chloride, sodium bromide, and all. How to remember that? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, astatine. How to remember that? First class biryani in Austria. That will be pretty cool. First class biryani in Austria. And I can tell you one more way. Fat Clyde. Fat Clyde bribed innocent Arthur. Innocent Arthur. Okay, so you can follow that one also. Fat Clyde bribed innocent Arthur. 
I can point it out as well. It's like fluorine, glide chlorine, bright bromine, innocent. Here, iodine and then arthur, AT, astatine. Make sense, everyone? Super duper easy. Let's go with the group 18, which is very important because that's the family of noble gases. We also call it zero group because they have zero valency. How to remember that? And that's helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. How to remember that? It's like more of like naming a family <laughs> at all. Hina, Nina, Arti, Katrina, Zina, Rina. Yeah, looks like the same. Hina, Nina, Arti, Katrina, Zina, Rina. I can tell you one more way. Like uh, in an entire sentence. He needs, he needs R. It's like millennial language of R. He needs R crazy. Special crazy. He needs R crazy Xerox repairman yeah makes sense he needs a crazy xerox repairman maybe his xerox machine is not working properly he helium needs neon r argon crazy cray that cr is for krypton x c xenon and r n redon he needs a crazy xerox repairman makes sense so we did first two uh, groups as well as 13 to 18 groups I hope there is no problem in uh, remembering that. Let's talk about the transition elements. The family that's from 3rd to 12th group. And the one that we should remember is this one. Element from 21 to 30. Now I'll also tell you how to remember the first 30 element that you should know. So let's go with the very first element from hydrogen to neon. And how to remember that. Hi, hello, listen. BBC News on Friday night. That's so cool. Hi, hydrogen. Hello, helium. Listen, lithium. BBC, beryllium and boron. BBC, beryllium, boron, carbon. News, nitrogen, uh, oxygen on Friday, fluorine, night, neon. So he needs, hi, hello, listen, BBC news on Friday night. Not a good plan though, but yeah, we can do that to remember. Let's go from the series sodium to calcium. That's 11 to 20 atomic number now. Nation might also sign peace security clause. A king can. Got it? Nation might also sign peace security clause. A king can. Got it? You can just put a comma over here. I hope it makes sense. Nation your sodium, might, mg, you can take it from here, magnesium, aluminium also, silicon, sign, peace, phosphorus, security, s, sulfur, chlorine, clos, a, argon, king, k, potassium, can, calcium. So nation might also sign peace, security, clause. a king can. Got it students, easy peasy. Let's go now from 21 to 30 atomic number. My scandium to zinc. Let me tell you which all are these elements. Scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, Fe, ferrum, cobalt, nickel, copper, zinc. How to remember that? That's very interesting one. Steve Jobs. Steve. Okay. Steve Jobs was the chairman. Chairman of iron. Apple computers. Computers with nice customers in Zimbabwe. <laughs> that, that is crazy. Steve Jobs was the chairman of Apple computers with nice customers in Zimbabwe. And whatsoever written uh, letters are written in uh, red color, that specifically we can take that from the same. That's how it's written to remember that. So Steve Jobs was the chairman of Apple computers with nice customers in Zimbabwe. So these are the elements from 21 to 30. I hope it makes sense and will help you to revise everything. So today, what did we do? We talked about the very first two group, group number one, group number two, group number 13 to 18, and the first 30 elements, how to remember that. If you did this much, that's more than sufficient for your boards and you can do 
very well for the same okay so in the same way if you want to gain 100 percent marks and definitely want to boost your score vedantu is such a great platform because if you'll enroll for it right now you can take unlimited classes and in every class after every concept there will be quizzes where you will compete with the students throughout the world interactive replay if you miss any session you will see as many times as you want can play live quizzes for the same can see your name in the leaderboard will be able to download all the contents that we're going to present in the class with the handwritten notes and feedback of master teachers and master teacher and set of class teachers will be there in your class to solve each and every doubt of yours so that no doubt should be unanswered that's pretty much important and from the list of 5000 plus micro courses you can choose any course for your revision if you have certain topics in your mind that that is not clear you can revise it as many times you want and i'm telling you crash courses just started right now some are going to start in the next week as from the january 2nd uh, very precisely so you can revise it properly for all the competitive exams and for your boards and to boost your score so how less is more because if you will apply age pro code with the link in the description box you can choose your grade cbse 9 10th target cbse 2021 you have to just give 2159 rupees for a month and if i talk about 3 months it's 1866 rupees per month okay that's what age pro code will give it to you and it just paying 11 to 9 rupees per session if you just you know have it wisely and will be able to do your best and can get the maximum out of the same it's totally up to you and it's even less than a party pack so i think you can invest it on a better place and that will be great age pro code will help you to get the discount don't forget it your anubha ma'am is on instagram finally no more blooper chemistry dot vedantu underscore anubha god you can follow me and this is it for today i hope it's very helpful i hope we have achieved to our targets of achieving at least 300 likes don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new don't forget to share it among your friends so that they can also see how vast and variety of things we are having just to help you all this is my email id you can reach out to me and this is it from mom side i hope you got everything thank you so much for being here thank you so much for having this having me i'll meet you next time until then take care bye bye happy learning